In the lot at the state fairgrounds, there are two massive white pop-up tents. If you take a closer look, you can see members of Minnesota's National Guard keeping watch. Nearby, all week long, there have been lines of delivery trucks that have just been screened. Well, Youth Bank Stadium is in an interesting location uh, in the downtown area. Not too much space over there, and we need a significant amount of blacktop in order to run these scans. Lee Takaki is a Minneapolis-based officer with U.S. Customs and Border Protection. He explains there's another reason they are not downtown. We want to be as far away from the stadium as possible in order to make sure that if anything were to happen, we'd be isolated. These officers use a 15-foot x-ray machine attached to a truck that allows them to scan every Super Bowl delivery vehicle that's destined for the stadium. We get a manifesto of what's inside the container, so the driver will let us know what's in there. But if the x-ray screen gives that agent concern, they'll pop open the truck. And Ensuring security is something that we do every day on a daily basis, and we're more than happy to bring our resources here at the Super Bowl to help out. After a vehicle has been checked, the driver must put the truck in park. They must wait for the National Guard to fire up a Humvee to escort the convoy on the road for the eight mile trek downtown. The convoy of trucks make their way right here to U.S. Bank Stadium. About 200 trucks have been bringing different supplies, all getting ready for the big game every single day. We're here in Minneapolis. Eric Shalou, 5 Eyewitness News.